you guys know what time it is it is mary's first show vlog now she got the good vibes when seasons change but when golden cross today well not today tomorrow for mary's first ever show and ryan's first show since hicks did which is now seven months ago um i'm really really excited <laughs> don't really know how it's gonna go but that's the whole part of the experience you know ryan's first ever show um i did on him and we were eliminated in the first class and then we had like three poles in the second class it wasn't great so you'll be able to come along and see how it goes so it's currently the day before um we are leaving very early tomorrow morning so i am going to bath them tonight um sort the lorry out tonight because we will be leaving about seven o'clock tomorrow morning i tell you that's early it's early for me because usually i jump the last class on brian um so yeah we'll be leaving about seven o'clock tomorrow morning so i'm gonna pack the lorry clean my tack obviously bath the boys boys bath mary and ryan um so i'm gonna go out there and do that now and i'm gonna bring you guys along with me and yeah i'll kind of talk you guys through it as we go along on your bath. he's like please no Bathed. Pretty boy. I'm one to go. Mm. Leaving you, I'm just taking a video. Going for some grass. Very shiny, aren't you? Shiny, does Mary look? You can't escape. Look how shiny you are. No, no. You stay there, thank you. Packed, I'm ready to go. Here is Laurie. So we've got my Mary, Mary's bridal here. Who's got the little red ribbon on her head because I don't know what she's going to be like um, with other horses in warm up as she's never been in a warm up with other horses before. Um, so that's just to say, horse shy, just to try and stop people from coming nearer. Set of ears, soundless ones, again, just to block out any sound. Um, and then Ryan's bridle here, he's just got um, his ears behind there, which are his Ecrocro ones, treats, uh, muscle wash, sponge, sweat scraper, and some buckets here. And then moving on, we've got some tendon boots with another red ribbon to put in her towel, just to kind of say she kicks, because I don't know what she's going to be like. Um, Fetlocks boots for Ryan, ice vibes for Mary, a whip, two saddle pads, I've got my Ecro one and my tours, half pads, saddle, girth, everything in there. I just have, um, I have over each boots in there, but they're currently drying. Um, so once they've dried, I'll put them in there. I've milked this out in a long time. Here were birds. Ah. 
Right, good morning guys, ignore this massive spot my chin. Um, <laughs> that was really quick. I got over here at half five, paid, fed, and mucked everyone, out, mucked my three out. It is just turned six o'clock. Rosie, Mary, and Ryan, hello. Just gonna quickly go back over to the house now. I need to get changed, have some breakfast. Mary's just doing a poo. Thank you, Mary. Pick Mary's poo up, she's just done. And um, make sure I packed everything, give them a groom as they laid in their poo. And yeah, be ready to leave for seven. I'm OTD. I have my Maid Dolores show shirt, my new one, my new jumper. Very stylish. Uh, I have blonde bottoms on at the moment to cover my um, white breeches, but my. Well, actually, I'm wearing the cream breeches today. And then my middle socks. I'm just have some breakfast quickly. And then we're going out to take the horses for a walk. Leg stretch. And then we're ready to leave. Horse number one. Bye bye. Mary. We go for a walk. Just hand walking. Oh, in the school. Before we leave. Just um, where they've obviously been in all night. I don't really want to take them straight out this day. I was to put them in the lorry. I'm just giving them a little leg stretch. A um, couple laps in the arena each. Can't do them together as I can't trust them that much. Um, this is the first time Mary's actually been ham walked in the arena like this before a show. Well, she's never been to a show, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, she's been a very good girl, very chilled. Um, so, they're all rugged up, ready to go. Laurie's packed. So, yeah, once I've done this, just got to wait for mum and dad. We've got about like 15 minutes before we do to leave. We'll see number two. <laughs> Pretty boy. Honestly, so I tied him up in his stable so we couldn't box talk when I'd taken Mary out and um, come back and the head collar's on the floor. It's a safety head collar, so if they pull against it, the popper unpops, like they pull against it hard. So I don't know whether it was a bit loose and it's just popped off when he's like gone backwards or whether he actually freaked out and has like broken off of it. Hmm? Not sure which one. No, I'm not. I'm a bit wild, aren't we? Yes. But yeah, just taking mine for a walk. And then we'll be off. Oh, yeah, someone is a bit sharp this morning. I'm going to have fun at the show. We are here. Bit big for 85 centimetres, don't you think? God, a bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. Bit big, 85. Oh, don't worry, right, okay, let's walk it. Cautious or walk, it's a bit bigger. A bit bigger than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so it's gonna go one of two ways, I think. Mary, need to. Ready for your first show? She's like, bye. That's my boyfriend right there. Big girl. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, no panic pay. <laughs> she keeps looking at that shad shadow on the floor. Is it a pole? <laughs>
you go. Go. Whoa. Get up. Look out. Woo. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's better. Perfect. Brilliant. What a good girl. She can see the sheep. <laughs> I don't think she's seen the sheep before. <laughs> Good girl, well done. Bring her back to trot. Bring her back to trot, well <laughs> All right. Well done. Good girl. <laughs> what a good girl. Didn't like the shape. Take her back round there. Take her past the sheep on the way out. <laughs> She's like, I really don't like them. Well done. Good girl. What a good girl. Um, bless her heart. She was so spooky. Was that number three? Um, but like the fact she came back round and jumped it. And yeah, she had quite a few down and whatnot, but her first ever show was quite a big 85. Um, so I can't complain. She was a really good girl in reality. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. Um, we were considering putting her in HC, but we got round, got through the start and finish. I don't really think it's a good idea jumping her again, as I have a feeling she's just too tired and I don't want to just start having those poles down and not really a good idea, so... Just walking off now, wash her off, and then get Ryan ready.
I have one bike and one bike is stuck in the neck. Oh, grass time. Ryan! Bear in mind it was an hour later. You have a meltdown in the first fence! Oh no. So, um, maybe not the best results on paper today, but um, I couldn't be happy with them really. They both jumped really, really well. Ryan just went a bit green to the first fence. Um, but then jumped lovely and Mary was just green all round but we was expecting that and to even go through the start and finish was a win for me so yeah they're just mum and dad are just hand walking them now um, whilst I've got some cheese chips and then we are going to be heading home how we hoped the day would end with a punch up Hey guys, when I open the ramp for you. Hello. Honestly. This is the first time anything like this has ever happened to us. I don't know how it happened because the tire that popped was on the inside. So we didn't go over a pothole or anything. It literally just made a massive bang. And then the lorry was just like shaking. Luckily mum managed to bring it to a stop, but it's pretty scary. Yeah, managed to crawl down the road a little bit. Who she is. I'm being very good considering. Here is the tyre. Here. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit hard, isn't it? It's like all on the road. <laughs> No, take the head collar off, Mum. Just let her go there. And then she'll pick because she wants to go. Straight down there. <laughs> Watch him now when you open that up. <laughs> oh, he's going to field. He's beat. He's cute. He's like, see you later. Oh, have some water. My God, we mash time. Maybe we can have a lunch. Yeah, maybe, you want a lunch here? She's like, yes, please. 
There we go. Wow, what a stressful day. <sighs> I'm sorry guys, we go home, I'm not gonna lie. So um they were superstars really. Um just back now, they're out in the field, they've had their lunch, and we're just chilling for a couple of hours. Um they were both really good. Um Mary, it didn't look great, I'm not gonna lie, but I, I wasn't expecting anything from her to be honest. My first ever show on Ryan, like I said, I got eliminated, so I wasn't expecting to get round. Like she hasn't even at the point I took Ryan to his first show, he had done a lot more than she had. Um her third ever time on the lorry, her first ever time jumping a course, like a proper course like that. Um, like new place, all new fillers, it was pretty big as well for an 85. I was not expecting it to be that big, otherwise I probably wouldn't have gone. Um she warmed up amazingly, as you'd have seen. Like, was really relaxed. Just could not be happy with her. Um, number three, she just... She wasn't actually spooking at the jump. If you watch it back, you'll see that she was looking at the sheet next to the um, jump. As when I tried to kind of bring her back around to try to pass it, she didn't want to go anywhere near it because of the sheep. Um, so she wasn't even looking at the jump at that point, which is why she stopped. Um, and then I, when I come back around, she was very honest to jump it for me. Um, and then I felt like the more we kind of went round, the better she got. Like, okay, she had a couple down, but they were just baby poles. Like, the thing is of her is if you get her a little bit wrong, she's just too baby to actually know what to do with her legs. Um, but you could see the amount of potential she's got. Like, some of them she jumped absolutely lovely. Like, she was she was an angel in reality, and I was really, really happy with her. Really happy the way she behaved the whole time. Like, from inside the ring to outside the ring, on the lorry. Like that journey home um and then ryan <laughs> he went very green to, to the number to number one um my stride wasn't even bad he just kind of didn't take off and then jumped it from a standstill but didn't jump it he just crashed through it so that was interesting because the thing is of him is he gets himself into a state after that so i kind of had to be like no we're gonna go um and then he jumped around lovely as you would have seen jumped around clear after that um so I mean, I can't be disappointed with him. It was his first show in seven months. Um, so in reality, he also was really, really good. Um, yeah, really happy with him as well. And then on the way home, we have a punctured tyre. That's the first ever time that's happened to us in, since we've had a lorry. And we've never had any issues like breaking down, like punctures and tyres. It was pretty scary, I'm not going to lie. Um, the massive bang and then mum trying to stop the lorry. <sighs> it's a bit of a panic. Um... Luckily, we didn't actually wait that long. We waited, I think, two and a half hours in total we'd stopped for. Um, but really, that's not that bad. Um, because I've seen a lot of people that have broken down and have literally waited like six hours for recovery. Um, luckily, we didn't need recovery. Thank God. Um, we just waited for someone to come and jack the lorry up and put a new tyre on. And then we could drive home and it was fine afterwards. But what absolute superstars. They stood on there like absolute angels. Mary did not hear a peep out of. Honestly, she stood there the whole time. Bless her heart, that's the longest, I mean, no, it's not the longest because she travelled over, but that's the longest she's been on the lorry of us. And I was a bit worried about her journey next week to Western Lawns, but she was fine. Like, she literally did not care. And um, Ryan had a couple of, he was scraping quite a bit um, after a while. I think he really needed a wee because he won't go a wee on the lorry. And then when we brought him home, he had a, the longest wee ever. So I definitely think he needed a wee. Um, but thankfully, we're all home, safe and sound. The lorry's fixed, the tyre's fixed. So, yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching Mary's first show vlog. Um, enjoy coming along with us and seeing all the behind the scenes and seeing the behind the scenes of the punctured tile. Um, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. No, she got the good vibes when seasons change, but we're the same.